Hello there. Uh, today's going to probably be a bit of a mixed bag of little things I need to get done. As you can see, I've extended my grand stairway uh, down into the secret valley, so now it comes out at the right level, which is uh, which appeals to my sense of neatness. But on the way, I made a bit of a discovery. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, there's a, a cave here, uh, and I thought, hmm, we would better check that out, really. Though I, I don't know if there's anything actually down here. It, it might be perfectly safe, but I thought, you know, better be recording. Ah, but there is a skeleton skull. Looks like there's not a lot down here. Uh, but I will take this skull, because this is exactly what I need to re uh, repair the luggage. Excellent. Ah, uh, I should say, I've also, during my excavations, been hearing uh, the sounds of a dungeon. So there is one around here somewhere, but I'm, I'm not going to go rooting around right now. But that is something that needs to I need to investigate. Okay, so this seems relatively safe. I'll just put a, m a couple more torches in here, so uh, so it doesn't become a risk. Um, it does mean I have my I have a source of water uh, in my base now, which is probably going to be useful. I don't see exactly why. The problem is it's exactly where I wanted to build my grand staircase down in a sort of spiral. Anyway, I'll worry about that another time. I just thought I'd better be recording, just in case it was full of monsters. Uh, but another job I wanted to do... If you recall, back in episode 9 I bought this crusher from Metallurgy. What it does is it turns uh, ore into dust, uh, and it's a lot more efficient than uh, just uh, smelting the ore on its own. But this is a pretty terrible crusher, and it uses lots of fuel. So what I want to do is take it, and now I've got uh, enough copper... That's copper, yes. I can now upgrade it, like so, just surround it with copper, and now we have a copper crusher. The name is just the name just uh, signifies how efficient it is. It's not. It doesn't doesn't only only crush copper. Uh, so now, if I take one of my great big stacks of iron ore, hopefully, it'll uh, require less than one coal per dust. I'm hoping, I'm hoping so, or it might just work faster, because it did work as slow as anything last time. Well, I've just put, I'll put three coal in and we'll see what happens. So, it turns out that the copper crusher is twice as efficient as the original crusher that was just made out of stone. Uh, that means it's uh, crushing two ores for the price of one, co one coal instead of uh, just one. Which is brilliant. Uh, you can upgrade it further, although I imagine the increase in efficiency will be slightly less next time. The next upgrade is to bronze. How do you make bronze, you ask? Well, firstly, you run your you, you run your tin and copper ores through the crusher uh, until you've got some dusts. And then, if we just take the tin and the copper dusts, we should, here we are, get bronze dust. I should be able to... there we go. Uh, it takes one tin, one copper, and you get uh, two bronze dust. Whoops, and then I'll throw it on the floor. And then you just... Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I've been doing a bit of glass making. You just take your bronze dust, stick it in your furnace, and uh, you can smoke it in tin gods. That's pretty much how you make any alloy. Uh, as I've said before, there are there are other sorts of machine that will also make dust. This is just a very basic, simple one that uh, takes coal. So yeah, there's your bron there's your bronze ingots, and once again, you would just take take uh, eight bronze ingots around the copper crusher this time, and uh, upgrade it like so. You can also upgrade the furnace in exactly the same way to a copper level and then a bronze level. That's all metallurgy recipes. There are any number of other different sorts of furnace that we can make at some point, but uh, these are just ones I can make at the moment, and uh, they're quite handy really, aren't they? Anyway, enough enough of this crafting, it's time for some adventure. I'm What, I was going to do, what I'm going to do is uh, run over to the village, and uh, then we'll have a look around the swamp there, and I saw a tower as well. So uh, hopefully we can get our hands on some marsh bees. So I'll see you there. I've almost made it to the village, but before I do, I've brought a few buckets along because lava is an absolutely incredible fuel source. You can put it in furnaces or uh, there's a variety of rather fancy gadgets I can also use it in. So I thought I'd pick up a few buckets of it. It is a finite resource, as you can see. It, I can only, you can only pull it from the uh, squares that are still. 
Uh, mostly. Well, possibly those ones, but uh, at any rate, each of these squares can only be uh, bucketed once. But uh, you know, later on I'll be able to get plenty of it from uh, down down below. But for now, it's nice to just have a few, a few of those. That'll save me an awful lot of coal. I've uh, been scooping up bees on the way. So I've uh, got quite a good supply of desert uh, hives now. It turned out that those wintry uh, bees wouldn't uh, thrive at all uh, in the extreme hills, which is a sort of normal uh, sort of uh, environment. However, I thought near this village was actually an excellent place to set up my uh, bee houses for the desert bees. So I'll just... Um, oh, here we go. Near a, near a cactus. So if I just put a, pop a couple of those down, and then I'll just uh, find some desert bees... Uh, there we go, modest princess. I keep calling them desert bees, but they're modest bees. So if I just uh, pop one in there, and one in there, and I'll do the same over here. Because I figured I'm going to be coming backwards and forwards to the village anyway. So uh, that should all work out. Are they, are they operating? Yes, they are. And I don't think they're stingy. So uh, that's what's all this. Oh! That looks quite interesting. In a uh, broken ladder, death trap sort of way. I might have a little look down there. Hey, you park! You've got a job to do, and it's not to get yourself stuck down bottom top well. Oh. But it, it does look quite interesting. No! Um, one of the things I uh, want to do while I'm here is grab this meadows hive in the centre of the village. Because I still don't have a meadows drone. There we go, and I see a I see a drone, so that's brilliant. And oh dear, it's getting a bit dark. I'm gonna risk it because I see a marsh hive just over there, and a meadows hive, another meadows hive there. But I don't know how many shots I've got left in this scoop. How bad? How bad can the marsh get at night? Uh, don't don't answer that. And um, bounce, 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 bounce. Come on, give me a yes. There's a drone. Right, let's uh, run back as quickly as we can. Uh, I had better just check that that really was a uh, a marsh hive and not some fancy schmancy new thing. And somebody's shooting at me. That seems to have done. That seems to have done for my scoop. Uh, I'd better hide in a hide in one of these buildings for the night. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, that wasn't a marsh hive at all. That was an unusual hive. <laughs> well, that's blown that plan then. Curse you, magic bees, and your slightly similar-looking beehives. It turns out I had the right ingredients to uh, make another scoop anyway, so uh, we're good for today. If I can... Uh, I'll just grab this Meadows Hive. And I realised the, the hive I, I took over there, the unusual hive, wasn't even in a swamp biome anyway, it was in a plains. Uh, so I should have known better, really. But, uh, yes, if I head over... What's all these? Oh, jellyfish, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to head into the swamp proper and uh, try and dodge whatever is out here. Uh, oh. Though I might have a little look in this tower while, I, while I'm here and everything, you know. There's a water hive there. I, I am going to grab this. I'm not going to use these bees just yet, but while I'm here I may as well take what I can. Water bees. So, this tower. Probably Ask Magicka. In fact, I can yes, I can see the uh, the rune from here. So, uh, oh, this is quite nice. Let's uh, wander up. And deal with the stone. Oh, a chest! Let's see. Hmm, wait a minute. Is anyone else feeling a sudden, a sudden sense of deja vu? 
Yes. Nice try, Mythian. But not this time. Uh, okay, what's in the chest? Uh, Kiss of Death? That sounds, uh... Useful in Transplace, which... Well, uh, sounds a bit like Teleport, so maybe that's, uh... Uh... I can't want to get that TNT. Excuse me. There's more red wall. I think, fact, I think that's where the, the red wall that went into this uh, new scoop came from. Uh, from this tower's doppelganger. Right, well, I've... Uh, and I'll have that plant, that flower pot can go with the other one. Uh, so. Success. Uh, let's see if we can capitalise on that. On my on my general not being exploded in the tower, and find a, in fact there there is a there is a marsh hive, I am pretty sure. Uh, the colours look all, all look all right, unless there's a, a new hive that looks just like that one. That, my friends, is a marsh hive. Uh, marshy princess, marshy drone, splendid. I'm going to set up a uh, marsh hive over in the swamp near my house. I suppose I could have done the desert uh, ones there as well, really. But uh, point being, I don't, I don't have a, don't have any more bee houses in, uh, with me, so it's going to have to be over there. Uh, my jaws are all done. I've got bees of all descriptions. I suppose I can go and play down that, uh, play down that uh, well now. So let's do that. I'm sure I'm sure it'll it'll be fine. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well at least the uh the hole from that creeper is uh slowly slowly grassing over. I probably ought to fill that in at some point. You know, just to be a good a good uh public servant. So how are these bees doing? Oh, uh, they are making parched combs. That's Pretty nice. I'm I'm almost full. I'm just gonna dump some stuff in a chest and I'll be right back. Okay, I should have enough inventory space now. Let's see what's down here. Uh, uh oh hang on, I want that copper. Let's, whoops, let's not let's uh not break the uh Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um Okay, we're now at the bottom. But uh that's quite nice. Let's uh grab this grab this gold. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, ah that's the worst that could happen. What's going on? Why are why I Okay, well that's not so, that's not so bad. Uh Oh, it looks like there's a cave through there. Oh, ah, uh, um, and uh, that's run, run, run. Hang on, excuse me. Ah, uh, where are my torches? Where are my torches? Ah, uh, leave me alone, skeleton. Where are my torches? Ah, uh, here they are. What, what on earth? What are you? I, I... Alright. Oh, well, at least it's brightened the area up. Uh, that's a bat. Okay. Um, I need to panic. There's a lo lot of stuff to mine down here. I'm not sure how I'm getting back up. Oops. Uh, let's not set myself on fire, though. Uh, okay. Uh, the one thing I notice is that my sword is almost... How deep am I? Um, not that deep. Uh, yes, let's quickly knock up a crafting table for a spot of emergency crafting. I will have to build a defensive perimeter. I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to get back up through the well because that's going to be full of um full of lava, one would imagine. Oh. Okay. That's 
fine. Right, okay. Dead creeper. Hole in the ground. Skeleton. And I think this is about all I've got time for today. Tune in next week. Well, <laughs> tomorrow, probably. Uh, when you'll see if I actually get out of here in one piece. Take care.